Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we're going to take a close look on the new frame I've just got for a new micro build I'm doing. This is the Ishin Firer 80. There are three versions. One is the 80, another one is 110, 130 and of course I've chose to get the smaller one so this is the Firer 80. Let's see everything we've got inside. So inside we got this bag with velcros and rubber bands. We got the camera mount, which I think is pretty cool. One of the main downsides of the Bobo 95 frame, which I built from RealACC, that it doesn't have any mount for the camera, so I had to improvise. So this one, I think, should give us a better solution. We got all the screws that we need in order to build the frame. And we got here all the frame parts which I'm gonna show in a second, and the instructions on how to build it. They expected to use the Minicube receiver. I am still waiting for some parts, so I'm not sure which motors and flight control I'm gonna use with this frame, we'll see. Apparently, on the specifications, they tell that the recommended motors are 1102 motors, but we're gonna find out in a second if it fits also 1103 motors. So let's open this bag and weigh everything up. So the total weight of this frame is going to be around 17 grams. So it actually weighs a little bit more than the Bobo 95 frame. And I think it's due to reason, the reason that although it's a smaller frame, as you can see here, the thickness of the frame is thicker than the Bobo 95. The bottom frame thickness is 2.5 millimeters and the top plate thickness is 1.5 millimeters. So I expect this frame to be very durable. Let's quickly see if an 1103 motor will fit. And actually, you can see that it aligns perfectly. So even though it states that you can use only 1102 motors, 1103 motors will be fine. I've just tried it with 1104 motors and they won't fit. But as I said, 1103 motors will do fine. I also just got the Ishin Roer 120 frame which I actually have almost all the parts needed to build this frame so I'm probably going to build this frame before the Ishin Fire 80 but I expect this one to be a really nice flyer so hopefully I'm going to build it soon and upload a build video. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this frame feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.